Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a test. There is a major hurricane that is in the Gulf of Mexico. The worst of the storm has now reached New Orleans. This is the moment we've been talking about, dreading. And I'm wondering how long these levees are going to hold on Lake Pontchartrain. The city absolutely devastated by Katrina. Uh, I'm told that the New Orleans police put out a call to all its officers saying, if you have a boat, bring it here, help us. These are people who did not have the wherewithal to get out of town. They didn't have cars. There's no way they could pay for a hotel room. They stayed in their houses because they had to. And then the water came up. This is life and death. This is life and death. There's just no doubt about it. I understand uh, the anxiety of people on the ground. I just can't imagine what it's like to be waving a sign that said, come and get me now. But uh, I want people to know there's a lot of help coming. You know, maybe help is on the way. The immediate situation is with each passing hour, the situation gets more dire. The government said, you go in that Superdome and you'll get help, and they didn't get help. They got locked in there. There was no power, air conditioning, water. Thousands were stranded in wretched conditions. I want to thank Senator Frist and Senator Reid for their extraordinary efforts. To listen to politicians thanking each other and complimenting each other, uh, you know, I got to tell you, there are a lot of people here who are very upset. I want everyone in the world to see six days after Katrina swept through this city, five days after the levee collapsed, look, look in the face of the baby. So many of these people, almost all of them that we see, are so poor and they are so black. They're showing all these reports of people looting and they are doing that. People are desperate. Destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. The aftermath of Hurricane Katrina will go down as one of the worst abandonments of Americans on American soil ever in U.S. history. You need to know that our whole nation cares about you. And in the journey ahead, you're not alone.